guys, today we're here to chat all about my favorite red lipsticks. I've picked out 10, narrowed it down, and the way that I chose these lipsticks was I didn't want to say, you know, specifically drugstore, specifically high-end, specifically matte. These are truly the 10 lipsticks that I reach for the most when I want to wear a red lipstick. I have tons of others in my collection that I really like, but these are some of my absolute staples. But that being said, they are different finishes, different price tags, different undertones, uh, and I am going to be doing lip swatches as well. So let's go ahead and get started. And as always with one of these best of videos, I recently did one on my favorite blushes. I've done bronzers as well. So I will link to those down below. I kind of call them like best for NC42, but especially with red lipsticks, I feel like a lot of these could look great on just about anybody, but as an NC42, I feel like they look good on me, and I know sometimes people like to suit it to their specific skin tone. But anyways, uh, the first one that I want to talk about is my favorite of the bunch. It's just the one that when I think of a red lipstick, this is generally what I reach for. This is the NARS I Can't Stop... No. <laughs> Not can't stop, won't stop. I've got that new concealer on the brain. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment, and it is in the shade Don't Stop. That's why my brain went there. And for me, I just love the finish of this lipstick, which is matte. I love the color, I love the undertone, and I love the staying powder power as well. Uh, it has really, really good uh, wear time, and in addition to that, it is comfortable, albeit a matte lipstick. I did actually just swatch about 45 lipsticks in total, so I feel like I'm having a hard time talking because my mouth is numb. Um, so stay tuned on Instagram for some of this makeup look, but in addition to that, I did swatch the brand new, let me show them to you, uh, the new L'Oreal Rouge Signature Liquid Lipsticks along with the Bobbi Brown, and these both actually have great reds in there, but they're a little newer to my collection, so I did want to include them in there, but uh, stay tuned on Instagram for those videos. Anyways, I really, really love this. I think it has a great applicator on there as well, makes it easy to apply, so full of pigment. Uh, in general, I really do love all of the lines that I'm mentioning today, but uh, this one is definitely a favorite of mine. I do love the formula, uh, and it is such a good one. An absolute classic red for me is MAC Ruby Woo. As you'll see, this is probably one of my most used lipsticks of all time besides like I think a Revlon one that I had maybe 15 years ago. Um, but this is a classic. My first ever I think actual red lipstick that I bought was MAC Red and I do like that but I definitely like Ruby Woo, Ruby Woo more. This is a retro matte formula so I, w I don't want to say it's a dry formula because that sounds really bad, but it definitely is a dry formula, but I don't feel like that is in a bad way. It's full of pigment. It's not necessarily the most comfortable lipstick in the world to wear, but I don't find it drying by any means ever, and it has crazy wear time. If you're not the type to like a liquid lipstick, but you still want to get that full of pigment, full, um, you know, full long wear time, this is such a good one, and I mean, the amount that's left on this lipstick really goes to show how much I wore this. I have not actually worn it recently, but in swatching it for this video, I was like, wow, I need to start breaking it out again. I feel like it has a similar tone to the NARS one that I'm wearing right now, in the sense that it's a little bit deeper, but still kind of on the neutral side, just so incredibly flattering, and I feel like this lipstick especially is just universal. That's a perfect segue for this lipstick from Maybelline. This is one of their made-for-all lipsticks, and I've mentioned these so so much lately, but I'm so obsessed with the entire line. I did uh, swatch it, so I will link to that below on my Instagram, but I wanted to point out this one specifically. This one is in the shade red for me. It is a matte. The rest of the line is cream, um, but just a gorgeous red. Uh, great price because it is Maybelline. I've always loved Maybelline lipsticks. This is in a new formula. It is one of their uh, color sensational formulas, which is fabulous, um, but this red is just so good. I've had other Maybelline reds before, and I actually have another one wanted to mention to you today, um, but I love this lipstick. If you're looking for a great drugstore one to grab, uh, I definitely recommend this one, but I do have another Maybelline and a CoverGirl to mention too, so we've got a nice range of price ranges in here today. Oh, and I should say, uh, the wear time on this is nice as well. Um, it'll be a little bit longer than uh, a traditional, more cream lipstick, but potentially a little bit less than a liquid lipstick as it is a more traditional formula. But that being said, I still do think it has really good wear time. Now, when it comes to red, I definitely prefer a matte formula, if not a really good cream formula, because I don't like glosses that have too much pigment in them, because first of all, they're just messy to apply. They can kind of move around, and I also just don't find it as flat flattering depending on the shade because the pigmentation has to be right, the, opa the opacity has to be right as well, um, but this one 
I love this so much. I love these lipsticks in general, and I think they are so crazy underrated. They are the Revlon HD Lip Colors. Is that what they're called? Revlon HD Lipsticks. Uh, this one specifically is an HD Lava, and it's one of my favorites. I love HD Tropical as well. That one is a little more pink, um, but this one totally got me out of that wanting a red to be full pigment and matte because although this has lots of pigmentation it's definitely red it's not sheer on the lips it's not a hundred percent opaque either um smells amazing really comfortable on the lips because it is somewhere I think gel is a good term because it's not a cream lipstick um, and it's not a complete like shine lipstick either. I think there's a good amount of pigmentation in here, but really comfortable if you're not into mattes. And there's something about just this lipstick that is very glamorous. Like a matte red can be really glamorous, but a glossy red I think is even more glam. Uh, and I think it's just beautiful. Again, for wear time, it's not gonna be as long as something like a liquid lipstick, but it still does have good wear time. And it is very versatile in the sense that you can kind of dot it on the lips and wear it a little bit more like a stain, uh, or you can build it up to a little bit more full color. And if you do really wanna get a little more wear time out of it, you can blot it, you will lose the gloss, or you could always uh, check on a red lip Lip liner with these. In general, I don't wear lip liners with my red lipsticks. I tend to more so wear them with nudes to make them a little more wearable or give them a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more definition or, oh, what's the word? Depth? or something like that. Anyways, it's unimportant, but this is such a good lipstick and totally underrated. Another underrated formula, in my opinion, is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. And I feel like that name is a little deceiving because in my opinion, it's definitely a liquid lipstick, just like any other formula. These have a great price. Actually, just let me Google it. Cause it changed. I think it was 14 and then went up to 16 or 18, but while I'm googling let me just tell you they have a gigantic shade range like it's huge it's gotten so much larger over the years literally any color you can think of they basically have these are how many dollars $18 so definitely a great deal up there with some drugstore lipsticks depending on which one you're picking them up and which store you're buying it from um, but price aside I just think the formula is incredible this is number one the shade zero one does it have an actual name I'm not totally sure but as always everything will be linked down below I did swatch like the initial 20 of these that launched but there's tons that have launched since there's another shade in there called like autumn leaves or autumn wind that I absolutely love um, but this red for me is just such a good one it's nice and bright. Again, a matte formula, comfortable, long wearing. I cannot recommend this line enough because I think it gets totally overlooked. Uh, and this red one is just such a standout of that collection. Back to the drugstore, CoverGirl launched the Exhibitionist lipsticks last year and I did do a lip swatch video. There's some beautiful nudes in that collection along with a really great pink that I love too. Um, this one is a red and it is a cream formula. The collection does come in uh, cream, demi-matte, matte and metallic. So I think there's other reds in the collection. This one really stood out to me as a really comfortable cream formula. Again, full of pigment, beautiful and bright. I've taken this on vacation with me a bunch and like the other cream formulas that I've mentioned you can kind of blot this if you want to get a little bit more wear time out of it uh, and if you're worried about things moving around a lip liner always comes in handy but what really excited me about this is I've always loved covergirl lipsticks but I hated the scent because not only was it very strongly scented and not a scent that I liked, but you could taste it and it stuck around for the entirety of wearing it which is absolutely not ideal in my opinion so these have no scent maybe slightly like a MAC lipstick, but like very, very little. So really great drugstore formula. Again, there's so many good colors in this line, but the shade hot really stuck out to me. And if I travel with a lipstick, I mean, it's very serious. Again, if I, well, it's not very serious, but you know what I mean, I'm, I, I'm exaggerating. Um, and I really do love the formula of this, albeit a red cream, which is generally not what I go for. And I just wanna add that in this lip swatch video that I have coming for these, what are these, Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lips. If I had another week with these, I think these would have ended up in here. These are phenomenal. I know I had tons of questions, so stay tuned on Instagram for a lip swatch video of these, but this video 
already exists of me swatching these CoverGirl lipsticks, so I'll link that down below. This is probably the least red lipstick that I'm going to be mentioning today, and I don't know if this is cheating. I, I tried to swatch it in comparison, and I do feel like it is a red, but it's also very, very strongly leaning orange as well. So it's just my favorite red-orange lipstick, I think, and it is from MAC as well, and again, one of my most used lipsticks ever. And this is a matte formula, so this is the shade Lady Danger. I love this lipstick. I wore this non-stop all of, I mean most of my most worn lipsticks are MAC if you'd like like a MAC lipstick collection video let me know um, but this one is not as matte as Ruby Woo because uh, Ruby Woo is the retro matte formula so really comfortable full of pigment how many times can I say it but the best thing about this is that it really has a different undertone than the rest that I'm mentioning today and I meant to mention this in the beginning of the video but a lot of people feel like they can't wear reds or they don't look good on them but there's so many formulas so many finishes so many undertones and sometimes none of that even matters it's just a matter of you personally with yourself trying to get used to wearing it because when I bought that first MAC red lipstick I was like this looks crazy I look like a duck what's going on here like my lips were just like too much and now it's nothing so it's sometimes it's just a matter of getting used to it and then sometimes it's a matter of finding a shade that works for you it's kind of a combination of, uh, of both but don't ever feel like you can't wear a color. You can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> um, some shades are going to be more flattering than others, but that's all up to you to decide. So this is a really great one if you're looking for one that's a little more warm, super bright, very, very vibrant, uh, but gorgeous. I absolutely love Nude Sticks products, and I feel like I don't give them enough love here on my channel, but Stiletto is definitely a lipstick that I reach for quite a bit. This is in their Intense Matte Leap Lip, <laughs> Lip and Cheek formula. I actually have not tried this on the cheeks, and I'm a big advocate of red and orange blushes, so maybe I should take the dive, but it's pretty intense. Uh, this is a gorgeous color, very long lasting. If you do like to double up and you do love like a lip and cheek combo, this is a great route to go. They have tons of other shades as well. If this one isn't for you but nice bright fresh kind of cherry red in my opinion it is a matte formula but still very creamy but very long lasting as well I find all of nude sticks products uh, I mean like the gel and stuff isn't gonna be as long lasting but they have like the magnetic mattes these intense mattes all really really long lasting uh, and if you have oily skin I think this is a tangent but I love those intense uh, sorry the magnetic mattes for your eyes as well because they do stick around on oilier eyelids uh, and and I definitely don't talk about them enough so let me know if you'd like a full face of nude sticks because they do have those little blur sticks but this is such a good one and was a, quite a staple in my collection and they're Canadian. For a long time or still I guess to this day I call this lipstick my dinner red which Wearing red lipstick to dinner is a little bit of a risky game and I realized that Valentine's Day is coming up and I didn't really do this on purpose because at least in my life if Nims and I are hanging out although I did wear this on our anniversary one year when we went to dinner so maybe I'm lying but generally <laughs> if we're going on a date or something I'm not putting on a lipstick because like we're going to be eating and we very most of our dates happen on the couch and include Uber Eats. <laughs> um, but I do think that this is such a good red lipstick if you do have a dinner date and you do feel like wearing a red, I mean, maybe test it out at home first, but in general, these Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks are so long wearing. They're probably the most long wearing lipstick around. If you swatch these on your arm, they're gonna be there for a very long time. They stay on the lips for such a long time. There's a dark shade that I wore all winter. It's gorgeous. This one is in the shade Pioneer. I do find, I know some people had issues with these, but I do find you need to build it up in a light layer. I don't find them particularly hard to work with um, because I also don't like products that's like you need to do this and you have to do this and this and this and this. Like I just want my product to work, but at the same time where it's something like this that really sticks around, I just wanted to mention it to you because I didn't want you to try it and hate it. I never really have had any issues with it. They can feel a little bit sticky some of the formulas they've come out with new ones and I've heard the formula is a little different but overall I've had an incredible experience with this light layers and build it up if you need to I find a lot of the time you don't need to build it up and just try not to move your lips around too much when you first put it on um, because the reward is that it sticks around for a very long time comes in a ton of shades they're coming out with more shades now uh, and this is a good one I think they have an even brighter red as well but this was definitely the one that I reach for and continue to reach for all the time lastly I have a mini to mention <laughs> this is also a matte kind of but a metallic which is super fun this 
discovered this over Christmas and wore it a ton. It is Smashbox's Always On Liquid Lipstick, and I actually wanted to include their shade Boss, but I decided to include this one instead to give you more variety, but I love that shade. I also love Stila Bessos. I had so many other potentials to mention, but truly these are the ones that I reach for all the time. Uh, this one is in the shade Maneater, and it's incredible, not only for the holidays, I think it's great all year round. What I love about it is it's a metallic, but it's not gritty, and it's not too showy. And not that there's anything wrong with like rocking a crazy showy lipstick, but that's not always my goal. And definitely in the day to day uh, and evening, evening to evening, that's not really what I'm going for. But what I love about this is it adds like just enough pizzazz that it's like, ooh, what are you wearing? And it looks incredible, but it's not like, ooh, what is she wearing, you know? Um, and I think the, the color here is gorgeous. It's a little bit deeper, kind of ruby, but still very much red, uh, and definitely has that metallicness, but it's not glittery, it's not gritty, um, and it doesn't look juvenile in my opinion. Sometimes <laughs> some of these uh, lipsticks that are coming out now, the metallics are getting better and better and better, and they're not reminding me of like my Marshmallow Moon or whatever it was, Bonnie Bell lip gloss that I, or lip balm that I used to sneak out of my house and put on. It was like silver and gritty and I wasn't allowed to wear it to school, but I surely would take it and put it on when I got there, and it was just like this horrible formula. Um, so I stayed away from um, metallic lip liquid lipsticks for a long time, but this is a gorgeous formula and gorgeous color. Also, if you're looking for metallics, I love the Bite Beauty Crystal Lipsticks. I was debating including that red in here, but because it's so new to me, I haven't actually reached for it that much in comparison to these ones, so I will link to that down below, along with all of my lip swatch videos, because I have swatched a lot of lipsticks, and I have a lot of reds, and a lot of shades that I love as a makeup lover. Um, so I will link those down below if you're looking for some more shades. But let me know if you would like to uh, see this video on nudes, on pinks, what other kind of products would you like me to talk about? Um, they're a little bit hard to film because first of all, I need to decide what I want, which is very hard for me. And then also I need to find it. Like I wanted to include the Fenty Stunna lip paint in here. The hell if I know where that is. I wanted, I was like, I could found all of the other ones, couldn't find that one. I do love it, honorable mention to that. It is a beautiful, crazy pigmented formula. Um, and like some of these, like the NARS one, I had to go reach for out of a bag. So I'm assuming it's in a bag somewhere. And that's what makes these videos hard is that like, it's not a brand new product. I'm truly talking about the things that I love. They're well used as you saw. So sometimes they can be uh, a little bit tricky to track down. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite red is and if you have yet to try a red, I encourage you, go pick up one of the drugstore ones, chuck it on when you get home at the end of the day, get used to wearing it, and then rock it. <laughs> if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!